just saying um the curse child i did not like it this mm-hmm. like the curse okay. child is i i, I Now, to be very honest, I I don't think I can comment on it. I just read it once. I was just glad there was some sort of sequel. No, uh, as much as there's a sequel, uh, having a sequel is one thing. I just don't. I don't know. It didn't feel right. It didn't feel like a Harry Potter story. It just felt um, like it didn't make sense too much. Too much sense to me. Okay. I, uh, also, the thing is like uh, J.K. might have been involved, but like two other people wrote it. uh like two guys uh and jk was supervising in that uh just uh, like yeah. that's the reason as well like that it just didn't feel like a harry potter book well but, I, i get it i get where you're coming from but i on the other hand was actually pretty glad i'm like okay i mean it, it 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 i was i was pretty content with reading it i yeah. also had to take into the fact that i think the last book of a harry potter that i read was is back in 2008 and the next book of the harry potter universe that i was reading was in 2019 or 2018 so you know 11 10 11 years apart me as a person i've greatly changed i've, I've become this annoying person who who does a lot of who reads too much into things uh, so I, i i think i think that plays a large factor for me if if i become critical but i, I was like hey, okay I, i would have loved to see the play I don't know if there is any uh, digital version out there, but um, I don't think so. Either. I think it was like a very yeah. for your eyes only kind yeah. of event. Yeah. Uh, and I remember the whole controversy with uh, Hermione being uh, of African American. I mean, yeah, because uh, uh, the thing is, we uh, in the movies we saw her. Yeah. Uh, as Emma Watson in the book Correct. covers, you had like a, a brown haired, um, like well, white girl. and then yeah. you suddenly change it to african american girl, uh, girl and it people were confused because like you've seen this character for so many years and yeah. you suddenly change the ethnicity and, and jk you, was all like unapologetic like fuck yeah, it i got yeah. i got to so, do what i got to do man i be me so people <laughs> i mean it confused people right so that's the yeah that's that's the take i i mean i don't really comment on it because fair enough whatever no but that's what i'm saying like, like the, the kind of person i am i'm i'm just yeah. it's you know like just putting it out there i'm okay if the the next few sequels of the harry potter universe are going to be significant downgrades in quality i'm okay with just the fact that they exist like that's just yeah me. i mean yeah just the like, love for cuz i know for a fact that the biggest bias i think a lot of people don't take this into account is that probably the universe and ha- universe hasn't changed the harry potter universe hasn't changed as much as they themselves have changed yeah yeah like, yeah we we as people have we as sheepun have have changed yeah, insanely yeah. you know in our, in our 10 years we've become adults and and adults aren't a great uh, target group uh, yeah. i think that's why harry potter was when the books came out was intended towards kids and children right yeah, yeah. so we got to take that into account but either ways i mean i'm so glad that the universe is alive you have the fantastic beast series coming out uh, you have two movies already out there you have a third one in the making i'm just i'm just i'm overjoyed Yeah. Wow. I'm 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 insanely overjoyed. I'm so grateful. Like <laughs> I couldn't ask for more. Couldn't yeah. ask for more. Fair. Uh okay, really quickly before we end this podcast because this has gone on for really long. Um Yeah. It's been one hour 40 minutes now. Jesus. Oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> if if you uh, are listening to this on the one hour 40th minute mark kudos to you. You are a, This is how shit. you Thank you for you, sticking with us for this. Yeah, this is how you Uh, you testify that you are a Potterhead. So good yeah, job. Yeah, yeah. After this podcast, you can tell everybody really, I mean, I'm a true we're Potterhead. Really, we're really sorry it took this long. Like we really and we and this is after breaking it off into two uh, parts. Yeah. <laughs> Jeez, dude. Yeah. Um, man. But anyway, so really quickly, what if you had to rank the movies or the books? What was your what would your ranking be? If you want. If to I had to rank the movies and the books, wow. Yeah. Uh, I think Philosophers would would be number one. uh and i'm i'm okay with the fact that i'm biased that it was the first book i read i don't yeah. care that was that was number one i i think for me um then probably half blood prince would be number 2 um i i think the seventh book would be number 3 uh yeah. and I, i think i would only rank the top 3 everything else is somewhat in the same boat for me well, i think um for me if i had to rank my top 3 i would say half blood prince for sure number 1 Yeah. Um and again I agree with you philosopher stone because uh, it really does get us into that universe. Yeah man like thumping your heart uh, like the first thing. Yeah. You ever. Yeah. And I think what would I rate the seventh book you're not wrong. Uh good but I maybe I might rate uh 
um, Goblet of Fire there. Okay, fair. Because the uh, transition. Yeah, the transition was uh, something I really got into. Um, as in the books, for sure. Um, as movies, what would your top three movies be? Mm, I think as movies, I would have to say that uh, I really think that the part one, part two, I think would closely be tied. Seventh part one, part two would closely be tied for the yeah. the first part. Uh, I think Goblet would be a great second spot, and I think after Goblet, um, Askeban would be third for sure. Hey. Just, yeah. Okay. Um, for me, uh, my favorite movie definitely, like I said, Order of the Phoenix. Um, done so well. So yeah, well. yeah. Um, second favorite movie, most probably, uh, Prisoners of Askeban. Um, mm-hmm. because uh, it's again really well directed and story is really good and mm-hmm. if i had to choose a third one third one i guess uh philosopher's stone because um again it's an introduction it's i still i think that's the first time i really fell in love with harry potter and i have it has to be in my top three like if not my <laughs> favorite like it has to be in my top three so that little boy harry the boy who lived the boy who lived um, oh god uh, he 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 did not come to die um, <laughs> <laughs> he died before he died. Yeah, <laughs> a part of him died. A part of, a part of him died. Dude, that scene, man, when Harry meets Dumbledore at you know after uh, after yeah, the yeah, Horcrux yeah. dies, King's, King's Cross Station. Yeah, that is an enlightened fucking yeah. Zen scene, huh? Nah? He's like, just because this is happening inside your head doesn't mean yeah. it's not real. And I'm like, whoa, <laughs> mind fucking blown, mind, mind blown. fucking blown, man. It's mind blown. Okay. Amazing, amazing stuff. And again, these are all the memories we've had, and we've spoken for so long. Um, honestly, we would love to hear what you sheepers uh, yeah. feel about this whole series because, I mean, we fell in love with this uh, universe, and we are still in love with this universe for uh, what twenty, uh, ten years, eleven, yeah. 10, 11, 12 years, whatever it might be. Uh, we we've uh, like I think always we will always be in love with this universe and. I, I don't know. I don't know about you guys. I you people, sorry. Uh, what do you think? Yeah. What is? What are your top three movie uh, movies or books? What are? What, what is your favorite moment from these books and movies? Like, just let us let us know what you think. And uh, yeah, we make we make yeah. fun quizzes and polls on Instagram. We're having yeah. one right now going on. If you don't follow us, do that already. Uh, you'll yeah. find our social links on the website. But we mostly go by sheeple's people or sheeple yeah, people. Yeah, and if you're if you're not like on our website and listening to us on Spotify or YouTube or uh, whether it be Apple Podcast, you can always for, uh, like just remember like uh, as he said, uh, our uh, handles are sheeple's people or uh, either the sheeple's podcast which is on Reddit. So sheeple's people on Twitter and Instagram, sheeple's the sheeple's podcast on Reddit. So you can always come there and talk to us. Follow, uh, like just look. Uh, we we keep doing fun stuff, interacting with everybody. So just. But yeah, yeah. we're having a fun Harry Potter Harry Potter, Harry Potter week. week happening. So yeah. you've got to come and join in. You're you're gonna have a good time. A lot of quizzes. So, we want to know what house you've been sorted into. Yeah. We've made uh, some kind of amazing Harry Potter fan posters. <laughs> come check them out. Yeah. Uh, do that right but for now this has been amazing sheeples this is z signing out i'm gonna go get a good cry uh, (laughs) because once again it's been established that harry potter books are over so yeah i'm gonna cry (laughs) bye and this is uh this is marai moody signing out i uh, i mean honestly um this is this is an amazing talk and I, i i'll not take more time i think we've spoken a lot so goodbye sheeples see you in the next one Sheeples! I'm crying, so sheeples. <laughs> Harry Potter's over. Uh, oh, sure. damn. Bye, 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 bye. <laughs>